Hello everybody, I am Red from the Senmo Robots crew, and welcome back to First Impressions. <clears throat> so, this week is actually of a new MMO, not an MMO game, but a uh, uh, combat game, a 4v4 battle game, uh, Nosgoth. And Nosgoth is, you know, uh, has the history behind it of vampires versus humans, legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver, all that good stuff. Uh, so this is actually a pretty cool one because it's the 4v4, 4v4 combat style with uh, the vampires and the humans finally going at it. Uh, this is a long, this is sometime after Kane's legacy and everything like that. Uh, it's the time in which vampires have split off into different clans in order to combat the humans who have taken their freedom and are trying to fight back. So this is, uh, it's a really fun game. It's still in kind of like beta I would think yeah it's kind of still in beta and they're still kind of getting it all together and everything I really enjoy it um, it's I, it's a real challenging game too it's a challenging game to play uh, but as you can see here at this part like I'm playing one of the uh, vampire classes known as the Sentinel and the Sentinel has the advantage of course like Raziel where it's the it is the Raziel clan where they have the wings and they're able to fly around the map free as they want. Uh, one of their main attacks is actually being able to go down, swoop down, pick up someone, and then drop them. You can actually see a guy being picked up right now. And he got dropped. And so it's really cool. I mean, it works really well and you can you can separate people that way. Uh, the vampires fight best. The, I mean, everyone fights best in the group, but vampires are really good at splitting people up and as soon as more than two or three vampires show up it it gets nasty real quick and see i just picked up another guy and i'm about to drop it and again it, it helps because you can split up people and then you can do stuff like that which is like the air torpedo basically uh as you can see there i just murdered that dude uh totally just drained his blood killed that person too uh, draining blood for vampires restores health and actually gives you more points So I got 10 extra XP points which helps me level and get new characters and new gear and stuff like that in order to Perform better as a player Now this game does have like microtransactions and stuff like that, which I find mildly annoying But nothing nothing too bad. I mean it doesn't give too many players like the advantage over you uh, but it does give them enough of an advantage that I Don't know. I just won't I won't play as regularly to be honest but I really enjoy playing as the vampires but this game makes you switch it does make you change sides and it's the best of 60 so you do 30 on one side 30 on the other uh, whoever has the highest score at the end of the round at the end of the game so each one is a round that determines who which team actually wins so in this we're actually doing pretty well we're not doing too bad um, I'm still flying around as the Sentinel. Uh, you can see we have in the, uh, the top left corner, you can actually see my other teammates. One of them is a Tyrant, who is this big angry tank, and I just got squished. I got turned into goo. There's the Tyrant, uh, there is another Sentinel, and there is, uh, another class. I think it's like a Summoner? I'm not used to, but I just changed classes right now, seeing that there was another Sentinel, and I turned into the Reaver, who is this... Very agile, very small character who is able to, like, basically uh, roll up and pounce on people, which incapacitates hunters and takes them out of the fight. As you can see, I'm getting into the pounce mode. Oh, and I got him. And so, you see, I lunged, and I got that guy, and then I murdered him. Uh, so I tried to kill that guy, but apparently I just got assaulted by one of the... Hunters, who was trying to put down some bolts in my ass. Uh, fortunately, I managed to get away, and now, here we go, trying to... Hunting him down from the, sur from the tops. And see, it's times like this where that's a, actually a prophet right there. Uh, prophets are the human equivalent of, like, a summoner or something? I, I, would, I would think so, because they actually have very unique powers. Uh, very capable of, like, energy attacks and things like that. Though they do carry two guns at all times. It's pretty sweet. Uh, one of the abilities of the Prowlers is to throw down this smoke bomb. It actually obscures the vision of the players and makes it possible for vampires to see who is caught within the smoke. 
Uh, as you can see there, I can you can drag off your prey or someone who you've just recently taken out, and then you can feed on them somewhere else because combat's a very dangerous place to feed on people. So as you can see right here, we're actually in a team group right now, which is just wailing, wailing on these guys. Um, in a hand-to-hand -hand combat situation, the vampire is always stronger. That's the thing. We are all the vampire will always be more capable of taking out the human when it comes to face to face. If the human can get his special abilities off, he can ruin your day, absolutely ruin you. Um, there's also the the constant fear of going off alone. So going alone is very very dangerous. Um, I honestly should not have done that. I shouldn't have gone after that guy by myself because. Though I am more, I am stronger and I'm much more capable. He had the advantage with his um, crossbow, and he was able to deal out much more damage and able to kind of juke me out a little bit, especially with his abilities. Because the hunters actually get like a bolus where they just throw it at you and it incapacitates you. You can still run around, but now you can't fight. You can't use any of your abilities. It's really annoying, actually. Uh, yeah, and this is me trying to get away. Oh, goodness, I got away. I actually survived quite a bit in this match. I was really, really surprised that it worked out this well. Um, hunting, hunting, hunting. That's another kill for me. Man, I did really well in this match. I did a really, really good job. I think this is where I died. I'm pretty sure this is where I die. Oh no! Yes, I got this profit. That's sick. I forgot about this. Uh, I totally dragged off this profit and just like fed on her to recoup all that health I had just lost like moments ago. Oh god, I was so good. I did such a great. The only problem I have with this right now is that the stuff you try to do, like uh, certain things. Um, there, I, I finally died. Uh, actually, no, not even stuff you try to do. Getting into a match, that's what I was trying to say. Getting into a match is a ridiculously hard ordeal. It's like, I can sit there for a good 45 minutes to an hour trying to get into one match, which will play out for probably 15, 20 minutes at the most. I mean, just playing as the, the vampire in this, I think I only played as the vampire for about like nine minutes or so. And it was absolutely crazy, it was just madness. And well, trying to get into a match again after this was just so hard. I only, like, recording all this and everything like that, I literally only got to play maybe, like, two matches total. And that's what makes this game kind of challenging, is their matchmaking is really on the lower end. It's really not that great. It's really, it's really challenging to actually get into a match to get into play. So to want to play, I have to, like, be willing to dedicate. And I, I find that in order to actually play this, you have to, the first match you get into, you gotta log in, jump in, go. Because if you, for a second, hesitate and like go like, hey, you know what, I don't feel like jumping into this match, you're never gonna play again. I'm gonna be honest with you, you're never gonna get that chance to play again. Oh, oh, I just murdered that hunter. Oh, that poor bastard. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, it worked out pretty well, though. For me. Oh, here comes the end of the match, actually. We are at the, we are just about to win. And I accidentally took that, that, uh, feast. I shouldn't have feasted on that person. I should have given it to the summoner. But I think I stopped caring at this point because it was clearly like we were gonna win. We are right there on the border. I'm just swinging away. Oh, and I got the final kill. Yes, look at me. So that was Nazgoth, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed that. Um, as always, guys, if you really enjoyed that, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you thought. Tell me how you enjoyed Nazgoth itself. Uh, but always remember, who you are and what you are, don't go cause any trouble out there in those crazy, crazy villages. And always remember, watch the skies. Those freaking sentinel vampires will just swoop down and kill your ass. Alright, bye guys.